This is Access 2019, Module 5, Part 9. In this segment, we're going to be doing the Find, find Duplicates query. And again, we're going to be using a wizard. So let's go ahead and get into our clinic database. We're going to go to the Create tab and choose the Query Wizard. And we're going to choose the Find Duplicates. Now we need to know, first of all, you need to be aware that finding duplicates does not necessarily mean you're finding mistakes. I know it kind of sounds like it could be, but it isn't always mistakes. It could be that maybe we have um, two senior managers that can start jobs, but we only have two, so we can only start two jobs in a day. So when we're looking for duplicate job start dates, perhaps, we want to make sure that there's never more than two on the same day. So having two doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem. In our example that we're going to be looking for, we're going to be looking for duplicate visit dates. Well, at a clinic, I would hope they have duplicate visits on the same date. So or more than one visit on the same date. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and see what it does. We're going to start out using the table visit. Notice finish is an option, but again, never click finish if next is still an option. It wants to know what field is going to be duplicates. You never want to enter all fields here because if everything is a duplicate it won't let you enter that record into your database. If the field that is the primary key is input here you'll never get a duplicate record because by definition the Access Database does not allow you to enter duplicate values in that primary key. It forces them to be unique. So the answer cannot ever be all because you're inserting your primary key and the answer also cannot be the primary key. We're going to choose the visit date. We're going to look in that field for duplicates. Now on this second screen, it's asking what additional pieces of information do you want to see besides that duplicate field. And we can insert all of them over here to see the rest of the record. Again, we'll choose next. And now we can give it a name. So we're going to call this query, Q-R-Y, duplicate visit dates and click finish and you can see there are several days where we had more than one visit well I would hope that we would have more than one visit in a day at most clinics so we're gonna go ahead and close this it's already been saved and we didn't make any changes to it. So all we have to do is close it. You want to remember that when you use a wizard, the wizard saves the object when it creates it. So that concludes this segment.